Hi everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I have the perfect spring dessert recipe for you. This is like spring on a cake stand. I'll be making my chocolate pavlova topped off with lavender whipped cream and fresh blackberries. Let me tell you, the flavor combination is mind-blowingly good. You guys are going to love it. It's so tasty, so light and airy, and I love the fresh blackberries on top. Now I do recommend splitting this recipe into a two-day project. You can prepare the chocolate pavlova even two or three days ahead of time and then when you're ready to serve it, make the lavender whipped cream. I'm going to start things with my egg whites. I've brought six egg whites up to room temperature. I'm going to drop them into my mixing bowl and mix them for about two minutes on medium speed to soft peak stage. I'm going to turn my mixer back on. I'm going to turn it on to medium speed and then slowly pour in the sugar. and then crank up the speed on your mixer to high and whisk that meringue for about five to seven minutes until that meringue is very glossy, has stiff peaks, holds its shape really well, and it should look sort of like marshmallow cream. And my meringue has reached the proper stage. You want it to hold its shape really well. I love how glossy and shiny it is. Now it's time to add the cocoa powder. Next, sift in a quarter cup of dark cocoa powder. And you wanna make sure you sift it into the meringue so that you don't get any clumps and scrape down the sides of the mixing bowl to make sure that all that cocoa powder gets incorporated with the egg whites. I've lined a baking sheet with parchment paper and then I'm going to transfer most of my meringue into the center of the pan and then just use a spatula to shape the meringue into a pavlova. And I've transferred about two cups of the meringue into a pastry bag tipped with tip number 9FT. I'm going to pipe little dollops alongside the pavlova and we're going to use these to garnish the dessert. Once you have your pavlova shaped, place it into your oven, preheated to 225 degrees Fahrenheit and bake for two hours. After baking for two hours, you wanna go ahead, turn the oven off, but do not open the oven door. Just let the meringue sit in the oven for another two to three hours, allowing it to cool down very slowly. And then once it's done, just go ahead, take it out and cover it with a plastic wrap or place it into an airtight container until you're ready to serve. And my pavlova is all done. When you tap, it should have a nice hollow sound. My little meringue kisses are also done. Now it's time to put together the lavender cream. I've softened four ounces of cream cheese. You can use cream cheese or mascarpone. And I'm just going to use my hand mixer to cream it together until it's light and fluffy. For my lavender flavor, I'll be using about an eighth of a teaspoon of lavender oil. And you can find this item in my shop on my blog. and I'm going to add a few drops of purple food color. Next, into a clean mixing bowl, I'm going to pour in one cup of heavy cream. You wanna make sure that it's nice and cold so it whips up nicely. And one third cup of white granulated sugar. I'm going to whisk this on medium speed until I get stiff peaks. And then add in our lavender cream cheese mixture. Drop it right in. And check out this cream, guys. Look at that, it's so light and fluffy. I love that light lavender color and the aroma from the lavender oil is so amazing. Time to put this all together. So I've transferred my pavlova onto a cake stand. I'm just gonna transfer my lavender whipped cream right on top. Add a layer of fresh blackberries. And add our remaining cream. All right, time to dig in and enjoy. It looks like my pavlova started to crack a little bit from the weight and that's okay. It's a messy dessert and it's made to be enjoyed like that. So I'm just 
just gonna grab some blackberries off the top. Look at that. And that's it for my chocolate pavlova. Absolutely love how beautiful and stunning this turned out. It's a show-stopping dessert, perfect for any springtime event. And also Mother's Day is around the corner. This would be the perfect treat for your mom. Time to dig in and give this a try. I'm going to grab a little bit of everything. Some of that lavender cream, some blackberry, and of course some chocolate meringue. Mmm. The flavors in this dessert are mind-blowingly good. All I could say when I was eating this was, wow. It's just such a unique flavor combination that works so well together. You guys are going to love it. You get that crunchy chocolate meringue, which is slightly a little gooey in the center, topped with that really light and fluffy lavender whipped cream, add some fresh blackberries on top, and it's just, wow, simply amazing. If you make this for any special event or for Mother's Day or for brunch, all of your guests are going to enjoy it. Plus, it's such a beautiful dessert, completely Instagrammable, so snap some photos when you make this and tag them with Tatiana's Everyday Food. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video recipe. Head down into my video description box and click on the link. It'll take you to my blog where you can get the full recipe. Hope you guys enjoyed this recipe and I'll see you next time.